Top 10 Luckiest Discoveries That Made People Rich Some people get filthy rich through hard work and extreme talent. Well, if you're into the adrenaline rush and excitement of getting caught, you could also rob a bank. Or you could get really lucky, like the people we're about to mention in this video. That's right, we're here to bring you the top 10 luckiest discoveries that made people rich. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for more updates you never knew you needed. Ready? Number 10. The Wall We all know about Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory and how the walls are made out of candy. Well, this house in Winber, Pennsylvania is much different due to the walls are made out of… Can you guess it? Money. Glorious flattened minerals that drive debt collectors crazy. The house had been abandoned for 20 years when the children of the couple that had lived there decided to ask a friend to go see what was inside. Within minutes of entering the house, they found a small pile of coins on the floor by a wall. As they explored further, they found a hole in the wall. Recalling a distant childhood rumor about their parents storing loose change in the wall, they opened up the wall. And to their surprise, an unbelievable number of coins flowed out of the wall like a waterfall of cash. Thanks for the inheritance, mom and dad. Number 9. Dug up in Australia If you're watching in Australia, it may be worth investing in a metal detector, a shovel, and a gym membership to get those arms in tip-top digging shape. Bonus points! The ladies will love you for it. Reason is, you can find some seriously valuable stuff underground. Our lucky number 9 is an anonymous prospector who was playing with his metal detector in Ballarat, Victoria when the alarm sounded. He dug through 23 inches of dirt and maybe a few earthworms until he saw the unmistakable glint of gold. As he dug, the nugget of gold got bigger and bigger. Reminds me of the zit I had back in high school. Anyway, it turned out our lucky guy had found a giant nugget That's a freaking bloody beauty. Oh my god, that's heavy. Weighing 12 pounds with a value of around $300,000. Number 8. Excellent Discovery An anonymous man in the Midwest of the US was scraping a modest living buying metal objects and selling them for scrap. And for $14,000, he purchased a golden orb decorated with gems hoping to make a $500 profit when he sold it. However, he decided to get it professionally appraised first, which was a decision he would never forget. It turned out, this lump of unwanted metal was actually the third imperial egg, one of the 50 original Russian Fabergé eggs. Number 7. More Money, More Problems This is another story of a wall full of money. Seriously. Aren't there any money walls around here? Moving on. In 2008, builder Bob Kitts was smashing up a bathroom for his old school friend Amanda Rees when he found two large medicine chests hidden in a wall. Our nosy builder, sorry, decided to open the chests and to his surprise, they were full of envelopes. That doesn't end there as each one had a $50 bill in it. The envelopes were addressed to the P. Dunn News Agency, and all in all, there was $182,000 in there. Number 6. 1974 D. Penny When he died, and may his soul rest in peace, a Denver Mint employee left his son Randy a small coin collection. Randy kept his handful of coins in a sandwich bag, and after he moved from Denver to San Diego, the bag stayed in his car for over a month. Nearly 20 years later, Randy came across the coin bag again and decided to show it to a professional appraiser. The expert was impressed by a silver penny and after a bit of research, found that this was a 1974 D penny. Cheers to the sons who appreciate the smallest of gifts handed down to them. Commercial break. Enjoying the video so far? Then you might enjoy pressing the thumbs up button below. Number 5. Rare paintings. What's in your attic? Mine's full of junk, metal scrap, and some cobwebs. Well, so was the attic of Norwegian businessman Christian Nikolai Mustad, or so he thought. Gasp! In 1908, Christian bought what he thought was a painting by Vincent van Ho. However, art expert at the time told him that he'd actually bought a forgery because it was not signed. 
Incensed, Christian banished the painting to his attic and never to be seen again. When Christian died, his descendants discovered the painting and found out more about it. In 2011, art experts decided that this painting called Sunset at Mumaju was the real thing after all, and it was worth around $50 million. If you ask me, Christian should have took his antihypertensives first. Number 4. Action Comics Number 1 What is it about walls? So far, we've found coins and treasure chests hidden in walls. Here's another one. Action Comics Number 1 was published in 1938 and is the holy grail for comic book collectors as it features the debut of Superman in all his might and handsomeness. Just look at that jawline! Fun fact, only around 100 exist and a top condition copy is worth more than a whopping $2 million. Number 3. A hoard, not a hammer. I bet you know what it's like when you can't find something. Annoying, isn't it? Here's a similar story. In 1992, when Peter Watling, a farmer in Suffolk, England, lost his favorite hammer, he asked his friend Eric Laws, who had a metal detector, to help him find it. Eric was scanning one of his friend's fields when the detector's alarm sounded. It wasn't his hammer though, it was a small silver coin. Intrigued, Eric dug some more. To his surprise, he found a gold necklace and enough coins to fill two shopping bags. He then called archaeologists in after that. But question is, did they ever find Peter's hammer? We need answers. Number 2. The Declaration of Independence In 1989, a man in Pennsylvania bought a painting at a garage sale for $4. He hated the painting but liked the frame so remove the picture to put a new one inside. However, under the picture was an old document. This turned out to be a mint condition copy of the Declaration of Independence from 1776, one of only 25 that were made at the time. He sold it for $2.4 million. The same document sold again in 2000 for over $8 million. Wait, what's a copy of the Declaration of Independence doing in there? Looks like people in the 1980s dislike using drawers. Number 1. Coke Shares Do you love going to garage sales? After you hear this story, you might want to go more often. In 2008, California man Tony Morin paid $5 for a box stuffed with random documents. Hold on, why would anyone buy that? Hmm, you know what? I'll stop judging. When he sorted through the papers, he found a dun dun dun, a stock certificate for 1,625 shares in the Palmer Oil Company issued in 1924. Who knew? Since the certificate was issued, Palmer merged with another company who had merged and merged again until they were bought up by the Coca-Cola Company. Tony's lawyers told him he now had 1.8 million shares in Coke worth around $130 million. This would make Tony the largest non-institutional shareholder in Coca-Cola, all because of a visit to a garage sale. Well folks, that ends our top 10 lucky discoveries that made people rich. Have you ever found anything valuable at a garage sale or hidden in a wall? Maybe you could let us know through my private num- I mean, let us know by leaving a comment below. See you in the next video.